In this video, we provide the solution to question number three for the practice exam number one for Math 1050. We are given a function via its graph, which we can see the graph of f right there, and we're asked to compute the domain of this function from the graph. So since we have a graphical representation of the function, the domain is gonna be all of the x coordinates which are realized on the graph. So if we look at the very far left, we see there's an x equals zero right here. And then as we go along the x-axis, every point to the right is included until we get right over here, uh, this very end point right there, which let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this right here coincides with x equals seven. Notice here that a solid dot represents that this point is included on the graph here. So zero will be included and uh, so would seven. If we had a hollow dot or an open dot, we would get everything up to that point, but not including it. We don't have that case here. So zero and seven will be included. We should use brackets to indicate that. So the correct domain would be zero to seven, where again, seven and zero are both included inside the domain. Hence the correct answer is B.